Hi, welcome back. Today I've invited my friend Jackie to talk about a topic that every one of us can relate to, death. So Jackie, I've prepared a few questions. Are you ready? As ready as I'm gonna be. Great, let's begin. What does death mean to you? I mean, in the literal sense, death means that like when you stop breathing and leave the world, but death means, death means mourning and trying to leave an impact on the world. Do you fear death? I don't, but I see why a lot of people would. Like, you don't know what's on the other side. So I see how people would fear it. Um, a lot of people take comfort in thinking that there's something on the other side. Me, I don't really know, and I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing if there isn't on the other side. And I feel like living life to its full potential means something more than fearing death. Very insightful. In the death of Ivan Ilyich, when Ivan is near death, he realizes he's not happy with the life he's led. Consider your own life. If you were to die today, are you happy with what you've done so far? If I were to die today, no. Um, Elaborate. <laughs> I, there are certain goals that I haven't reached, and it's not even career-wise. My lifelong goal has been to travel. So if I died right now, I wouldn't have seen half the places I want to see. So if I had a timeline and, like, if I was going to die in the next month, I feel like I would be able to be happy with my life. But as of right now, there's so much I haven't done. You, know, you need to see the world. I feel yeah. that. So, when someone dies, people react in a variety of ways. For example, the characters in Ivan Ilyich think about how it's good that Ivan died and they did not. What are your thoughts on the reactions of others regarding the recently passed? Um, that's a tough one, Sam. Um, yeah. Regarding others and with the recently passed, obviously, it's a time for mourning. I would hope that when I die, people wouldn't be thinking how they're going to move up in the world and get mm -hmm. more money. But um, I think with a lot of people, a lot of people cope in different ways. So while some people mourn, other people might just look back and be happy and remember the good times, or some people might become depressed. So I feel like it all depends on how you cope with certain things. Wonderful. So what do you believe happens after death, if anything? Obviously, I take comfort in thinking that there's something on the other side, but for me, the thought of living and the fact that I have lived and experiencing things, if there isn't anything on the other side, I don't think I'd necessarily be devastated. Um, I feel like I grew up with not necessarily a specific religion, so I grew up kind of questioning a lot of things, so I feel that, like I said, if I hadn't if I don't go to another side, then I've lived and hopefully I live on through other people. That's good. Really appreciate that. So, what do you imagine it's like to know that you're dying? And like, would you want to know if you were dying? I'm sure it's terrifying. Um, I feel like you never have enough time to finish what you need to finish, but I feel like you have to come to terms with it. Would I want to know if I was dying? Yes and no. If I was dying tomorrow, Probably not. If I had a couple months and I could plan to do what I wanted to do and maybe quit college and go travel or do something meaningful, then I would want to know. And finally, this is the deep one. So <laughs> death is the one certainty of life, the inevitable truth, and the one thing all living beings have in common. What statement can you make about this? Um, I feel like death is one thing that we can all come together when facing a rough time. You know, there have been a lot of school shootings, and despite the differences between everyone, you know, people will always tend to come together with death. Death is something that we all understand. It's a part of all of our lives. There's no avoiding it yet, at least. So I feel like there's a lot that plays into death, coping, support, friendships, relationships that are built off this. So I feel like there is a lot coming into the death, like something this large and something it's that something we all... something that we all understand. Yeah. And we're all bonded by our grieving. In a sense. Yes. Well, thank you so much for sharing your insights with us. It was a pleasure having you on this show. And remember, everyone, 
death is inevitable, but that doesn't make life less worth living. <laughs> Wait, okay. <laughs> I just need to cut that part. So you have a video of, of you have a video of 